Hey, it's Kat. Um, now, I've had a few questions about how you would figure out the polygon coordinates, uh, and I thought I'd explained it, but I'll have another go at that. Uh, what I would do is start with a piece of gridded paper. So at the background here, I've got a bit of a grid on the go, and I would draw my shape. One of the shapes I've been asked for is an A, so I'm going to draw an A. Now, my drawing skills are not amazing, so don't judge me on that. Uh, so I want to make a shape as such. Now, I'm going to leave the gap in the middle of the A just because I'm a little bit lazy. Um, so there's some things that we need to know about this shape first before we write down the coordinates. When we do write down the coordinates, it's important to remember the order in which things will happen. So if I give the X and the Y coordinates for the first point, I then need to figure out which direction I want this polygon to be drawn and then do the points point by point. So I would do the first one, then the second one, the third point, the fourth point, the fifth, and so on. So a polygon is going to work easiest if you've got um, square lines. So if you've got letters like J or S, you're not going to be able to create curved lines. So you're going to have to do it in lots and lots of little short straight lines. But remember that whatever you do, that it will process the points in the order that you provide them. Okay, so now let's look at what my coordinates might be, might be for the A. So I've just redrawn my A and I've increased the size of the grid. Now if we imagine our grid is a, uh, each grid square is 10 pixels by 10 pixels, that will help you in imagining sort of where I'm coming from with the numbers. The first thing that we're going to do is make a list of all the X coordinates. So X's. And remember that these need to happen in the order that you want each of them to be drawn. Okay, so one continuous line. So we'll start with this point here. Now let's just figure out where our zero, zero is. So let's say that we're in the top left corner and that this was zero, zero. So I am three grid squares across at this point. So that means that my first X point is 30. Now my the top of my A goes across four squares, that means that my other x point, so my second x point, is 40 across from my first one, which was 30, so 30 plus 40 is 70. Now as I go down, I cross, let's just draw a little line here, I cross three grid squares, so that's another 30 across from my 70, so that makes my next x point 100. Now my next point over here is three points back across from that 100, so that makes it back at 70. Then my next point is one grid square across, so minusing 10 off that 70 makes it 60. My next point here is two grid squares across from the last one, so I'm subtracting 20 off of the last value, which was 60, so that makes my next one 40. Then the next one here is one grid square across from the last one, so I subtract another 10, that makes the next point 30. And my last point over here is three more grid squares across from the last one, and that makes it at zero. Okay, they're my X points. Now let's look at the Y points. So we've got our Ys. Now it's important to make sure that we start at the exact same dot and go in the exact same order. So we need to end up with the same number of values. So that first one, considering where I draw, drew my 0, 0, it's actually at 0 for its Y value. One across from that, the Y value hasn't changed. So remembering that Y is vertical. Um, so that one's also at 0. Then we go down quite a ways, and I counted it. I'm pretty sure there's eight grid squares there, which would make my next point 80 down. Then we go across, so our y value there is not actually changing, so the next point is also 80. Uh, then we go up, 
two grid squares. So we're going to subtract 20 off of that 80, so that becomes 60. Then we travel across a little bit, so at the same vertical height, so that next point is also 60. Then we drop back down to that 80 for two more points. Okay, so just to quickly check, I've got how many points in total? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need to check that I've got eight X points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that I have eight Y points. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is how I come up with the coordinates for drawing a polygon. So from there you just need to use the code that was provided for creating a polygon and have this as your X points and this as your Y points. So remember whenever you're coming up against a new polygon that it does draw lines that are straight that they need to be connected exactly in order so when you're figuring them out you need to kind of mentally draw where the lines will go in one continuous line and start with gridded paper because gridded paper is going to be a really good friend of yours uh, and it will really help you out. No matter what I'm drawing, I personally always go back to paper before I try it on the computer because it solves you a lot of hassle. Okay, Always design before you implement. Good luck with your polygons.